In these problems, we're looking at types of angles, and there's three types of angles that you should know about. One is called acute, one is called obtuse, and one is called right. And let's just start with a right angle. A right angle is like what you'd have on a street corner with two streets that one goes north-south, one goes east-west, and that angle that they form is a 90-degree angle. It's also called a right angle. It's the kind of angle you'd have at the corner of a square or the corner of a rectangle. Anything that's smaller than 90 degrees, or I like to think of it as pointier, that one is going to be acute. And acute, uh, another word for acute is sharp, so I like to think of these as sharp angles. And then the wider with the 90 degree angles, like that, that would be obtuse. So right angle, acute, and obtuse. So when we look at this one, I, I think you can tell just by looking at it that this is wider than a 90 degree angle, so that would be obtuse. Let's look at the next angle below here. This one says classify the angle below, and we have this. If this were a 90 degree angle, it would be coming straight up here like that. It's sharper than that. It's, the angle is smaller. It's less than 90 degrees. So this will be acute. And we've got one more, two more here. In this problem, it says if TOS, angle TOS is obtuse, then angle ROS is what kind of angle? And we need to do some sorting out here. What is angle TOS? Well, the way they write angles, they put that little angle sign in front of it, and then it's the letter in the middle that's important because that's the one at the point of the angle. So let's find O. There's O. And then we would start from T, go to O, and end up at S. So if I start from T, go to O, and end up at S, it's this angle right here. And it says, if TOS is obtuse, and yeah, it looks obtuse to me, then angle ROS, well, O's in the middle, so that's the point of the angle. So ROS is this one then ROS is what kind of angle? And in this case, just by looking at it, you can probably tell it's acute. And this is always going to be the, the case when you have a diagram like this with a straight line at the bottom and another line cutting it into two angles. One of them is going to be obtuse and the other one is going to be acute. Or if this line was straight up and down, both would be right angles. But if one's obtuse, the other's definitely going to be acute. All right, last problem. What type of angle is formed by the hands of the clock at 3 o'clock? So I think I'll just draw a picture here. Let's see. At 3 o'clock, this hand is pointing towards the 3, which is right there. The other hand is pointing towards the 12, which is right there. And that is a 90-degree angle. So this is a right angle. So that's a little bit about acute, obtuse, and right angles.